We've completed all of the navigation system elements, but we need to create a view for each page of our onboarding. The three pages we need to create are the personal info view, workout info view, and food preference view. Let's create each Swift UI view now and save them inside of the views folder. Now that all three views are created, go ahead and open content view. When doing onboarding, there are some variables you want to keep track of as the user moves through the onboarding process. We want to use a view model to track each selected item. In SwiftUI, we can set this view model to a state object, which allows us to have only one instance of view model for our entire project. Above the body, add the following variables. At state object var model equals onboarding view model parentheses at state private var current page colon int equals zero. Our navigation will be handled inside of content view. Let's create a new variable after the body variable and name it tab view. Inside of the tab view, we're going to add a tab view inside of the parentheses Add the selection property and then add dollar sign current page. Inside of the curly braces, we're going to add workout info view parentheses dot environment object and inside of the parentheses add model. Now let's add a tag modifier and add zero. Next, let's add personal info view parentheses dot environment object and inside the parentheses add model. We're going to add a tag modifier and set it to one. Finally, add food preference view parenthesis, add an environment object and pass in model and add a tag and pass in two. We need to add a tab view style modifier to our tab view. Go to the last curly brace for the tab view and type dot tab view style parentheses and inside of the parentheses add dot page index display mode and set it to dot never. Now let's create our nav bar. Inside of the nav bar, we will display the page dots and the next and previous buttons. Let's type var nav bar colon sum view curly brace return. And inside of the nav bar, we're going to add an h stack. And inside of that h stack, we're going to add another h stack. Now let's add four each parenthesis zero dot dot less than three comma ID colon backslash dot self parenthesis opening curly brace index in return inside of the for each let's add dot view parenthesis let's set index to index and let's set current page to self dot dollar sign current page now let's add our buttons next we need to add a spacer which will push the dots to the left side and our buttons to the right after the h stack add a spacer and under the spacer, add an H stack. Inside of the H stack, add a custom navigation button and set the type to dot previous. Now inside of the action, add self dot current page minus equals one. Now add the opacity modifier to the previous button and set it to self dot current page greater than zero question mark one colon zero. In this ternary condition, we are saying if the current page is greater than zero, set the opacity to one. Otherwise, set the opacity to zero. After the previous button, let's add another custom navigation button and this time set the type to dot next. Inside of the action, set it to self dot current page plus equals one. Add an opacity modifier and set that to self dot current page equals equals two question mark zero colon one. In this ternary condition, we're saying if the current page equals two, set the opacity to zero, otherwise set it to one. Let's add a couple of modifiers to the navigation bar. First, let's add dot padding and set it to 15. Next, let's add dot background dot white. Back in the body variable, 
remove the padding and all of the contents inside of the V-Stack. Now inside of the V-Stack, let's add Tab View, and underneath Tab View, we'll add Nav Bar. Now for the V-Stack, let's add Dot Background, Color, Dot Base Background, Dot Edges Ignoring Safe Area, Dot All. Earlier, we created our views for each of the onboarding pages. Currently, each one of our views just say hello world. Let's update each of the views to display their names instead. Hit Command Shift O and type person and hit return. Inside of personal info view, let's update the text to say personal info view. Now hit Command Shift O again, type work, hit return. And let's update the text to say work out info view. And finally, hit Command Shift O again and type food and hit return. Inside of food preference view, let's update the text view to say food preference view. Now let's hit Command Shift O, type content and hit return. Inside of previews, you can navigate between each of the three pages going forwards and backwards by hitting the next and the previous button. You will also see that the dots update as you go to each page. If you want to swipe through the content, you will also see that our dots and the next and previous buttons will update as well. Our onboarding setup is done. In the next video, we'll look at designing our first onboarding page. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel.